Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. They say she used to have a house, but now she got a home, honey. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Miss Nene Leach, y'all, just purchased a luxury condo, y'all, in Atlanta's ultra-luxurious Waldorf Astoria residence. Now, according to MTO News, y'all, they're saying, y'all, that the former reality star recently sold off her mega mansion after her late husband Greg's death. Now, according to reports, y'all, they say Nene dropped a mere $1.85 million for a four-bedroom, five-bathroom, 4,045-square-foot condo in Buckhead High-Rise Hotel. They say which she also has a limited number, which they have a limited number of exclusive condos. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Nene and Greg lived in a five-bedroom, seven-bathroom, nine 1,791 square foot home on a golf course in the city of Duluth since 2015. Now they say Nene purchased the home, y'all, for two million seventy-five dollars, which was a steal at that time. But now they're saying, honey, she um sold it for a mere four million. Now they're saying that the start ended up slashing the price a couple of times before finding a buyer for three point forty-five million. And they say Nene walked away, y'all, with one point five million dollars in profit. Now her new place, y'all, at the Waldorf. Um, it has um, it spans with three floors and it has a wet bar, a fireplace, oak flooring, and a gourmet kitchen with waterfall counterparts. And they say she has her own elevator that provides access to each floor of the hotel, y'all. Mm. But I mean, is, is, is that good? I mean, she didn't. It's like she's slumming because she had like five and nine bathrooms or whatever. Now she but got she down. She don't the, need all that. She probably don't got the kids there no more, and it's just her. She that's good. That's cute. Three I, floors? That's cute. Really? I don't know. Because if you used to come, if you coming from a big old mansion and and stuff, and you got to share stuff with other people, I don't know if that's a good look. But what other people? She I mean, shared. other people in the building. I mean, it's not just her building. But it now, they do her have those elevators place. that'll drop you off right at your floor, and your floor is like uh, your floor is like uh, uh, it drop you off not on your floor, but it drop you off at the front door. It's like your foyer. Yeah. Right. Elevator opens up, and that's your foyer, and only you could get to it. Right. They do have condos set up like that. Oh, that's really? Nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that's grand, honey. And oh. then you you decorate your foyer how you want it. Oh, really? And it, and it won't open on no other floor. Oh, yeah. That's I've seen it. Oh, well, congratulations. Then well, she doing good. Then. Mm-hmm. All right. When then. I was, when I was, uh, you know, because I do DoorDash part time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. How, how you knew about that? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Speaking of doing good, honey, a lot of people are talking about this, and some people kind of a little upset with R and B singer songwriter Miss Mary J. Blige. I heard the latest what's going on in her life. Well, let me tell you, it's been reported y'all that Mary J. Blige allegedly y'all was spotted getting cozy in the club with a newly single NFL player, baller Mr. Sterling Shepard, y'all. Now y'all know Sterling Shepard, he just filed the divorce from his beautiful wife, y'all, supermodel Chanel Iman, honey, earlier this year. Now they're saying y'all that the two have been linked, honey, to um been seen a couple of times out together and stuff, and you know, and poor little Iman her shit home raising them two baby girls of his, and Mary J. Blige allegedly is out there um frolicking with this man her now they say she barely speaks about uh p- p- public her public dating and what have you and whatever but it's sad that um you know they were both honey at the harbor nyc um recently and they were at miss misa hilton's birthday party and it, it was just i feel bad for supermodel iman I, even do you know iman I, I do know Sh- chanel chanel i mean yes yes oh, but right. um why do you feel bad because that woman, honey, if Mary J. Blige is allegedly with her husband, she had, they seemed like they were madly in love. They were a young couple. They filed that, for a divorce, Gary. Well, have yeah, they you filed, heard the reports? Yeah, they filed for divorce. But that woman is, tw- he, that man is 28 years old and Mary J. Blige 51. So? Now, Ricky, that's too old for a man to be dating a young <laughs> woman like that. Now, yeah, Gary, no, 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 yeah. now, if this was a woman. And it was a reverse. And it was a man dating a woman half her age. We would not be talking about it. Don't do that. Anyway. Mary J. Blige <laughs> don't, do that, Mary. don't do that. Yeah, that let, woman. Let, Mary, let Mary live, Gary. She been what? through a lot, especially what? with that ex husband of hers. Let that lady live. Well, she living, but she needs to live with a man that's not that not had a Says wife. Says who? Says who? Says me. Well, that uh, don't matter. That don't matter. So, what but you anyway, say don't matter. I feel bad for Poe Martin. She's a beautiful girl. And I remember when she came out on the scene, honey, and, and started modeling and stuff. And how you, how you know Iman still even want him? They filed for divorce. It's over, Gary. 
Well, yeah, it ain't over yet till it's official, but hey, Mary sitting there um, messing with the dog, man, she probably won't go back to him. She just needs to go back, honey, and just get her somebody single and leave this young man alone and let him be with his wife and his children. No, they got he's going to teach Mary J. Blige how to dance, and they're going to be uh, <laughs> <laughs> enjoying each other, having yeah. a good life. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, no, I'm just joking. You know Mary J. Blige be a little, saying, just, yeah. just slightly off beat. She got her own slightly. style. That's her style. That's her style. Yeah, that's yeah, that's her leave the queen alone. Leave the queen alone. Her and Lil' Kim have a dance-off versus. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, and uh, what we're hurting, I like the children named the one they their first child name is Callie Clay, and then um, Iman had another baby. She named a little Cassie Snow. Now Cassie Snow and Callie may not have their father around because he's allegedly with Mary J. Blige, honey. And the that dancery. don't mean he's not around, Gary. <laughs> he might no, still be around for the kids. Goodness. Mm. The color today, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color today is got African. Your ner- got your nerves working got my, Yes, honey, I don't want to argue, honey. You, Big people need to get it together. Get it together or leave it alone. You don't want my love and I'll be gone. Did you say it one day? <laughs> say it one day. <laughs> African oh, is the color Lord. on the high end, mob on the low end. <laughs> All right, y'all give it up again with the Z. One time. <laughs>